A joint injection is a procedure used in the treatment of inflammatory joint conditions. The goal of the injection is to turn off a pain signal coming from a specific location in the body or to decrease inflammation in that area. Steroid medication combined with a local anesthetic is administered via a needle inserted into the symptomatic joint space. A joint injection may be done for therapeutic or diagnostic purposes and can be accomplished with x-ray, CT, or ultrasound guidance. The most common joints treated are shoulder, hip, knee, elbow, or wrist joints. Before your exam, a technologist will review with you the informed consent document as well as any special preparations that may be required. The informed consent document provides an overview of the procedure, desired benefits, possible risks, and your rights as a patient. If you are viewing this video on our website, you can access the informed consent document under Patients. Please be sure to discuss any questions or concerns you may have with a technologist or radiologist. Prior to the start of the exam, you may be asked to change into a gown. A technologist and a radiologist will work together to perform your exam. The technologist will position you on the exam table to provide the radiologist the best access to the injection sites. You will be made as comfortable as possible. The identified area will be marked with a pen and cleansed. The radiologist will numb the site. You will feel a pinch and a stinging sensation as the numbing medication is introduced into the skin. This typically lasts for several seconds. Using X-ray, ultrasound, or CT, the radiologist will guide the needle into the joint space or area of interest. You may feel a pinch sensation when the joint space is accessed. Otherwise, only mild discomfort is typically noted. A small amount of X-ray contrast may be injected to confirm optimal needle placement and then an injection of local anesthetic and steroid will be administered through that needle. A small protective bandage will be placed over the site. The bandage may be removed four hours after the procedure. If you receive numbing medication inside the joint, the goal is that you should feel better for a short period of time. Please note that the steroid administered can take up to 48 hours before pain relief is observed. The steroid affects patients differently and may or may not yield the desired pain relief. The radiologist will prepare a formal written report that will be sent to your referring clinician within two to three days. Your provider will then discuss these results with you. You may be asked to monitor your pain relief so that you can report this to your referring clinician. Potential risks include pain, bleeding, infection, joint stiffness, allergic reaction to injected materials, temporary numbness or weakness. Rare potential risks include vessel, nerve, or joint injury, or bone necrosis. As the patient, you are our priority. If there is anything that we can do to make you more comfortable before or during the procedure, please let one of our staff members know. For more information regarding this procedure, or if you have questions or concerns, please call our office at 360-493-4600. You may also visit our website at www.southsoundradiology.com. Thank you for choosing South Sound Radiology. Mm -hmm.